Hi guys, so this is task two. Today we're gonna to talk about the line of demarcation. So Columbus, we're gonna read this paragraph and then highlight the, um, highlight the definition for line of demarcation. The image to the right is kind of just to help us visualize what this looks like. All right, so Columbus's voyages sparked intense competition between Spain and Portugal. On May 4th, 1493, Pope Alexander the Sixth a Spaniard proposed the line of demarcation to ease tensions. The line of demarcation is a line drawn along a meridian in the Atlantic Ocean as part of the Treaty of Tordesillas in, in 1494 to divide new lands claimed by Portugal from those of Spain. It decreed that all newly declared lands west of the line, west of the line, um, line of longitude running through the eastern part of the present-day Brazil belonged to Spain and everything else east of Portugal or east to Portugal. The two nations confirmed the ruling at the Treaty of Tordesillas signed the next year. So we know that latitude is flat, longitude is up and down. You guys learned that in sixth grade. And the part that says the treaty of or the line of demarcation, I'm going to Highlight it. The line of demarcation is a line drawn along the meridian and the Atlantic Ocean as a part of the treaty. Um, and the next sentence explains what it did. So it divided new lands left and right. And the Pope was the one who decreed this. And so all of these lands, the north and south of America, were not claimed yet. And so this was kind of the first decree that claimed these lands. And they split them up between Spain and Portugal. And Spain got all of the U.S., the majority of South America, and Portugal got this tiny sliver of Brazil um, and a little bit of Iceland up here. Um, or no, that's Greenland. No, I don't know. But anyways. Um, Spain got more lands and Portuguese, the port, the Portuguese got a small slither, sliver of Brazil. So the effects of this would, Spain would have a larger empire. They would have more money. They would also, the lands that they, that they, um, that they settled in would speak Spanish. So that's why the majority of South America, uh, Mexico, they speak Spanish and some parts of Brazil still speak Portuguese. Now, the U.S. is a different story because we had um, Britain and France who came in and were trying to take us over. Um, France eventually settled in Canada and the and British like, took over North America. And so that's why we speak English and some parts of Spran Fran oh, some parts of Canada speak French. Okay. Um, Awesome. That's it for this. Bye.